Hey yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day today. And over the past year of being here on YouTube, I've made a total of 99 vlogs. And over my time of being here on YouTube, I've had people come up to me and ask me like, how do you make your vlogs? And most people who don't know me ask me like what I do and I tell them that I do vlogging. Their first initial reaction is like, oh, this guy just is like, hey guys, what's up? I'm going to the mall today and I might get some pizza. And I try to explain to them that it's not like that at all. Vlogging's gotten a bad name in that way. People do end up watching this stuff, but a lot of people dislike it because putting events together in their day and just stringing it together and uploading it without much structure at all. That's the main difference between my vlogs and those vlogs. My vlogs have structure to them. Because the thing is, a vlog is a story. And if the structure of the story you're putting together is not great, it's gonna be hard for the audience to remain engaged. And now that doesn't mean that you have to go out and make this block blast, block blaster, block blaster, blo block blaster blog. <laughs> You don't have to have the most amazing effects, amazing editing. It can be something very simple. Like if you're going to the mall and getting yourself a pizza, if you structure that properly, you're gonna keep your audience more engaged. That way you're gonna get more subscribers and more viewers because people will like your content more. In movies, just think about it. Majority of the time, 99% of the time, people will come away from that film. That film was amazing. Like that story was so cool and stuff like that. They're not gonna be like, oh yeah, the explosions were sick. and. Or they might, obviously, but that's on the side. The story is the main thing that you gotta be thinking about. So today I'm not gonna dive into every single thing that makes my vlogs my vlogs, because obviously there's editing, there's camera work and things like that. What I'm gonna be speaking to you guys today about is how I structure my vlogs in terms of the story. This is why every now and then I get people saying stuff like, oh, this guy's a Casey Neistat wannabe. You pretty much are Casey Neistat. Stop copying Casey. It just, ugh. The reason why people say this, Casey follows a very specific story structure most of the time and it's very similar to the story structure that I follow as well. I've used this story structure more and more throughout my vlogs and you can actually see from my very first vlog to what I'm up to now, I've progressed so much in terms of how I tell my stories. So there's two ways you can go about making a vlog. You can either do it the unplanned way or the planned way. The unplanned way is what most vloggers do and they usually just go out there and they shoot their day and they put it into the edit and then it comes together in the edit, which is what I used to do and I still do it sometimes, very rarely, but that's what I used to do. And then there's the plan way, which is pretty much how I do it 90% of the time now. When I plan my vlogs, the quality of the vlogs go up so much more and the audience is so much more engaged in them simply because I have that structure in my head beforehand so I know exactly what to shoot for the structure to make it a really sound and coherent story. When it's like that, the audience's engagement will be boosted immensely. And there's nothing wrong with doing it unplanned because a lot of the time when you're shooting something, you might not know exactly what you're shooting. And it's hard when you're vlogging, especially if you're doing it every day, it's hard to know exactly what you're shooting every single time you vlog. A lot of the time it can come together really well in the edit, but the thing is if it is unplanned, there's a much higher chance that it's not gonna come together as well and be as coherent as a planned version. Today I'm talking to you about how I make my vlogs and the way that I make my vlogs is planned. So I'm gonna be taking you through that process. So when you go to start planning, the first thing that you wanna think is, okay, what's the actual goal of the character? And the character being like 90% of the time is yourself, the person who's vlogging. And these don't have to be complex at all. It could be as simple as getting someone a present or going downtown to make sure you get something done. It's just whatever your goal is for the day. Once I've established my goal, I'll go into something called the three act structure. Now this is what I use to kind of form my vlogs into the stories that they are. There's the beginning, the middle and the end. And in between there, you have the inciting incident and the climax. So in the beginning, I'll have my intro. So that's me saying, hey yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day and just talking to you guys about like what I've been doing. The inciting incident is something that causes the main character, AKA in my vlogs, me, to go out and pursue my goal for the day. And then the middle, AKA the midpoint, is usually where something happens or something goes wrong. And like, obviously, it's a vlog, so you don't know whether something's gonna go wrong or not. But if something does go wrong or some obstacle is in the way of you trying to achieve your goal, this is where this would happen. And then we move on to the climax. Now the climax of the story is pretty much the point that the audience has been waiting for. It's where everything that has started from the beginning has led up to the highest point in the narrative. 
So if I was to draw a line, it would be like this. And then this is the highest point. So this is the pinnacle of the story. This is where the character finds out whether they succeed or fail at their goal that they're trying to achieve. The character doesn't necessarily have to succeed. A lot of people think that a good story is like a happy ending where the character gets what they want and it's all good. Like that's not always the case. And obviously it's not realistic, especially in vlogs. Like you're not always gonna get what you want unless if you plan it to be like that, but then it just gets boring and repetitive. Final plot point, the resolution. So the resolution is pretty much the conclusion of an essay, except the essay is the film or the vlog that you're trying to do. It's pretty much about what the character has taken away from the journey that they've gone through. That's the three act structure that I follow. Now in between those plot points, I usually have montages. So these montages might be B-roll montages, it might be shots of the environment, shows the passing of time. That's what the montages are used for. Showing the passing of time really allows you to glue the structure together, the beginning, the inciting incident, the middle, the climax, and the resolution. It really just kind of glues it all together and makes it much more coherent, and it gives the audience a sense of time and space. It adds to the flow of the narrative, and therefore it contributes to the engagement of the audience. Because vlogs are so short, the beginning and the inciting incident are pretty much merged into one. You don't need to have your intro and then have a musical montage showing the passing of time, then going into the inciting incident. You might wanna do that in some instances if you're talking for a long time in the intro. Then I'll have a montage into the middle or the midpoint. Then I'll have a montage into the climax and then a montage into the resolution. That is the exact structure that I follow pretty much all the time in my vlogs. All right, so let's look at one of my vlogs and look at how I've structured it and we'll go through it and I'll pinpoint which points are the plot points that I've got in the structure of that vlog. So the beginning. Hey yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day today as usual. I give my intro. You know how my foot injury has been bad and I haven't been able to snowboard or do anything like that. So I haven't been able to train. I've just missed too many training days. I hate saying give up, but like I, I have to quit the course because there's just no way that I'm gonna pass this exam. Today's the last day while being here. The main goal is just to make the most of it before I leave. Gotta be positive, gotta make the most of it. Today I'm just gonna capture Frisco in Colorado as much as possible before I leave. Let's do this. And that was the inciting incident. The fact that the injury on my foot has stopped me from staying in Colorado for any longer incited me to have that goal to go out and capture Colorado as much as possible. And then I move on to the midpoint where I talk about the fact that there's a storm cloud and it might rain soon. So that adds to the stakes and that's an obstacle. It's supposed to rain around two o'clock this afternoon. I'm not even at the end of the hiking trail yet. One o'clock now. Fingers crossed we can get to the end of the trail in time and back without being pelted on by rain. Cause it's been really hot here at the moment. Just means it's not gonna snow, it's gonna rain instead, which sucks. This guy's not looking too promising. <laughs> and that leads me to the climax, the point where I get to the top of the hike, I see the most amazing view. This is unreal. Woo! So I'm obviously capturing the most of Colorado by getting the drone shot of the place and getting the shots of the area. And that was my goal and I achieved that goal. And then there's another montage of us going down the hike and that leads us into the resolution. And in the resolution I say, oh, what a great way to end the trip. It couldn't have gotten much better. So my goal was clearly achieved. I reinstate that in the resolution and that's pretty much it. That's how I structure my vlogs. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And if you guys like this video, please click that like button and subscribe. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again and I'll catch you guys next time.